Martha bought an armchair and a coffee table at an auction and sold both items at her store. Her gross profit from the purchase and sale of the armchair was what percent greater than her gross profit from the purchase and sale of the coffee table. So, not much information given. Pretty much just a question, but we're looking for a percent change and we're looking at the percent difference in the profit from the armchair and the profit from the coffee table. Um, and so therefore our percent change will be our armchair profit minus the coffee table profit all over our coffee profit. And basically that's all we are given, just a question. So let's look at our statements. Martha paid 10% more for the armchair than for the coffee table. So um, it looks like they are going to break down profit into its components. Profit is equal to revenue minus cost, or in this case, revenue is just the price she sold it for. And so we can rephrase our question here as um, if we were to break down our question into its components. So our percent change will be the selling price of the armchair minus the cost of the armchair minus the selling price of the coffee table minus the cost of the coffee table all over the price minus the cost of the coffee table. Um, and statement one, therefore, is telling us that Martha paid a 10% more for the armchair. So that is the cost of the armchair. So cost of the armchair is 1.1 times the cost of the coffee table. And so I can tell that uh, if we plug this in, we still doesn't tell us anything about the, uh, the price for the armchair or the coffee table. And therefore, this will be insufficient. Because what we are trying to do, as you can think of this, is we have four variables here, and we're trying to narrow it down to zero variables, or really just one variable so that we can cancel that variable out. We can't do just yet. And so Martha sold the armchair for 20% more than she sold the coffee table. So now this is telling us something about the price. So this is telling us that the price of the armchair is 20% more than the price of the coffee table. Same thing though as in statement one, this doesn't tell us anything about the cost of the armchair and the coffee table. And therefore by itself, this is insufficient. So looking at them together, let's plug in everything we know and see how many variables we can get rid of. And so um, let's get everything in terms of our coffee table. So the price for our armchair is just 1.2 times the price of the coffee table um, minus 1.1 times the cost of the coffee table minus the price of the coffee table minus the cost all over the price of the coffee table minus the cost. And so I can tell here this is insufficient, right? Because my variables are still not going to cancel out all the way. But if you don't see that, you can keep going, try and combine as much as you can. So let's see how far we can go. We got 1.2 minus 1. That's just 0.2 times the price of the coffee table. Then we here, here we have negative 1.1 minus a negative. So that's just plus 1. And so negative 1.1 plus 1 just leaves us with negative 1. So or negative 0.1, I should say. Negative 0.1 times the cost of the coffee table all over the price of the coffee table minus the cost. And so this really is as far as you can go. We cannot combine or cancel out anything else, which is telling us the answer here is E, the, uh, the values for this uh, percent change depend on your values for the price and the cost of your coffee table. And so you cannot do anything like this. Do not cancel out your T's or cancel out your C's, you're splitting the denominator in that case. 
that violates your fundamental reaction rules. This is as far as we can go. E.